So, see, as of now, we saw that these um, objects are nothing but it's it's like Excel sheet. It's creating some database. It's creating few records. Okay, but in a real time database, if these objects are just like Excel sheets, then what's the use of uh, like Salesforce? You can use uh, Excel sheet only to record these things. Now, why do you need Salesforce? See, the thing is that these records or these objects without any relationship between each other, it's of no no use. Okay, it's of no meaning because uh, only just record they will act just like a static database. It's of uh, not much use. So in order for them to interact with each other and exchange the data, exchange the information, you need to have relationship between these objects. Okay. And mark my words, the relationship is established between the objects, not between the records. Okay, there's a difference. Like the template, the template will have relationship. Okay, but the records that you create, that is different. Okay, don't consider that as a relationship. Okay, so in Salesforce relationship, uh, you have any idea of so, so, uh, SQL, like any basic knowledge of SQL? Mm. Okay. Okay. So in SQL, you have something called uh, uh, some key is there. Uh, some keys they're using that key, foreign key. Yeah, foreign key. I think it's foreign key. So using that foreign key, they will establish relationship between two, uh, two different tables. Okay. Yeah. So in order to connect two tables, they are creating foreign key. Okay. But in Salesforce, there is no concept of foreign key. Here we have relationship fields. Okay, we have relationship fields. Uh, okay, let me just go ahead and show you. Okay. So as I said in Salesforce, you don't have foreign key concept. You have a concept of relationship fields. So if we go to customize here. Okay. And we go to any object. Let's say if we go to any object, we go to fields here. Okay. And here we have this custom fields. Okay. So what's written here? Lead custom fields and relationships. Okay. What this means that uh, the fields. So in relation while to create relationship, you also need fields. Okay. So I'll show you the difference. Uh, when we create new, let's say we create a new field. Okay, so to establish a relationship, there are fields. Okay, so instead of foreign key, we have fields here. So there are two types of fields to establish relationship. Okay, one is lookup relationship and one is master detail relationship. Okay, so master detail we'll see later. Okay, first let's see lookup relationship. Hello. Yeah, you uh, okay. So you got the point that to create a relationship, you need a relationship field. Okay, so there are different types of relationships and there are different types of relationship fields. There's a difference. Okay, if you can see my screen, I'll just mention it somewhere. So in relationship, uh, let's say in Salesforce, we have relationship fields. Okay, so their relationship fields are of two types. One is lookup relationship field. Okay, not the relationship, but this is a relationship field. Okay, and there's another field master detail relationship field. Okay, so using these two different types of relationship fields provided by Salesforce, we can establish different different types of relationships. Okay, so this relationship is from a relational database concept. Relationship is same, but to establish the relationship, we have a difference. Okay, so using relationship fields, you can establish relation between two or different objects. Okay, so 
one is a lookup relationship field and one is a master detail relationship so we'll see the details on what is the difference between these two in a while okay so as of now we'll see what are the different types of relationships okay so there are different types of relationships uh one to one one to many okay many to many okay there are different different types of relationships okay so using these two types of relationship fields lookup relationship and master detail relationship fields we establish we can establish all kinds of relationships uh depending on the relational database okay so and in relationship fields in this master detail and lookup relationship field just like a foreign key here we don't store foreign key but here we store the id of the records okay i think i have not introduced the id to you as of now so let me show you what an id is okay so every record that you create okay every record that is created in the database automatically salesforce will generate one id okay so let's say these are records right these are records created by us okay so if we click on the, any of the records it will always give you one 15 digit id so this is the id of this particular record okay not the object but only the record yeah so if you see see uh, right now we are in garden here right uh wait that go okay see garden here has this id okay so if we open any other record let's say we'll go back we'll go back to hotels and we'll open another record see leela palace will open okay so in leela palace the id will be different okay so this is the id okay you see this id is for gardenia this id is for leela palace and to easily access any of the record you can just go to your main uh, url whatever the main url is and just type the id name automatically it will pull up the record okay so if you type in here it will automatically pull up the record of that particular uh, object okay so in a relationship field in the front end what you will see is in the front end you will see that name of this particular record okay in the relationship field okay but in the back end what stored what is stored is the id okay so the actual thing which is stored in the id uh, sorry in the field if you try to access that using the uh, like uh, code method or apex method you will get the id okay but in the front end just for to make it more user uh, user friendly because we will not be able to recognize the records using the id right but we can recognize it by name okay so to make it user friendly salesforce will convert it into name and it will show you just like this this is also a lookup relationship okay this is also a lookup field but we can click on this and we can go directly to that record okay i'll show you see let's say if we go to sabash aruk so this is nothing but a user okay but the record is a user i mean it's a user record so if you see here here also we have a 15 digit id yeah for everything that is saved in salesforce everything uh, apart from the metadata i have no, also not introduced the metadata okay one second one second i will note it down so one thing is id one thing is metadata okay and one thing is data i'll have to introduce these things okay so you got id right so everything that is saved in the database will have an id and this id will be 15 digit id okay that is the id of the record so even the user is saved in the database when i create this user it will be saved somewhere in the database right so that is saved using the id so how will salesforce recognize is using the id just to show it as a user friendly so that i can understand that is my uh, user it has shown name and all those things but in the back end what is saved that is the id okay so if i want just using the id if i want to access so i can go to the salesforce uh, uh, parent directory and if i type the id it will directly take me to that record okay see it is already open okay 
So everything that is saved in the database is using the 15 digit ID. Okay. Okay, now comes metadata. Okay, I think we have uh, moved away from the topic. We were discussing relationships, but before we get into that, you need to know these things. Okay, so that's why I'm discussing these things. Okay. So what is metadata? So let's say, as soon as you open Salesforce, okay, let's say you're logging into the Salesforce for the very first time, okay. In that time, you will not have any records created in the uh, database, right? Yeah, so everything is like a template. Only the frame is there, but you don't have any data, uh, any data, any record. Okay, that time, whatever is there in the Salesforce, that is called metadata. Okay, so what metadata is? Metadata means data about the data. It's actually a little complicated, but if you understand it, it's pretty simple. So metadata is nothing but, uh, uh, how do I put it? Okay, it's data about the data. Okay, what this means is that it is the data about whatever the record or whatever thing that we have created in the Salesforce, whatever record that we have put, how to present that. Okay, only the, only the user interface and only the templates, those things are called metadata. Okay, but without the actual data, without the actual record, actual field, the values, metadata is of no use. Okay, it's only to represent the data. Okay, let's say if we have any new object, uh, there's no blank object. One second. Okay, let's say if uh, this thing is not here. Okay, if we create a brand new object, Okay, let's say Logis is a brand new object. If you don't have any record in it, only the template, what all fields should be there, what name should be there, uh, those labels, that is called metadata. Okay, so the actual important thing is the data. So if you are a developer or if you are an admin, you will be only working with the metadata, like all, all the customizations, all the settings, all those things come under the metadata. But the uh, company will never let you touch the actual data. They'll only give you a copy of data and using that you will be uh, like checking or testing or developing whatever you will do. You will not be able to, uh, they will not allow you the access to the actual data. Okay. Yeah, it's like predefined things like how everything is set up, how the frame is set up, how this object is created, what all fields are there. So if you go to fields. Okay, if you go to view fields, you will have custom fields. Then you have, uh, uh, let's say custom field is there, standard field is there, relationships is there. All these things are only the metadata. Okay, this is only metadata. But the uh, as if you don't create any records, it's of no use. So that record is the actual data and everything that defines that, like how to present it, how to, what kind of relationship is there, those things are metadata. Okay, you're getting the difference. What is the difference between data and metadata? Yeah, so let's say if you we are in this page, so there are lots of other things also like page layout is there. Okay, triggers, validation rule, these things we'll see later. So whatever is provided by Salesforce in order to make everything user friendly and all the features, these features are the metadata. Okay, okay. So just remember this thing. So as soon as if you, if you don't have any record or anything in the Salesforce org, whatever you have is the metadata. Okay. Okay. So, and then whatever uh, you create, the records that you create, the fields that the values that you put in, that is the actual data. Okay. Okay. So the people who will be using Salesforce, like the Salesforce uh, sales representatives and their managers, they will be dealing with data. Okay. But we as a developer or a, as an admin, we will be only customizing things and we'll be developing something will not be creating any new records or will not be creating any data. We'll be only uh, amending or uh, like customizing the metadata. Okay. Okay. Okay, so where were we? Okay. So let's say if we go to this particular record. Okay, if you see anything, this is, this is like a clickable thing, right? So this is also a relationship. 
okay it's a relationship between and this is predefined i mean this is created by salesforce only okay salesforce automatically puts the user id whoever has created that id will automatically come here in this field and it's saved okay but i'll not be able to recognize my 15 digit id right so that's why just to show it as a user friendly thing they have uh, put my name so that i can recognize that it's my name okay but the actual thing which is there in the back end that is the id okay the 15 digit id okay so just i uh, this there is already a, re a relationship established okay i'll just uh, open one notepad and show you okay um, okay let's say we have one object okay this object is a okay there's another object b okay you can create as many objects as you want but if there is no interaction and no relationship between these two objects then it's of not much use okay it will be like a plain database okay so in order to connect these two objects okay we have something called relationship fields and there are two types one is lookup and one is master detail okay so let's say if you want to connect this object to this object okay so one will be parent okay and one will be child okay so lookup relationship field or master detail relationship field will always be in the child object okay so let's say we have created one field here okay relationship field is already this is a relationship field okay and what it will have actually in the back end it will have id okay but in the front end it will show the name okay and let's say in this object we have one record one record is there record one okay and in b we have another record let's say one one okay so to create the relationship the relationship field will always be in the child object okay one is parent one is child so the field will always be located in the child object okay here you will put the value of this particular record here it will be one it will show as one when you click on this one it will automatically open this record okay but in the back end it will be saving the id okay so let's say this can be one uh, object called maybe hotel in a hotel there are lots of rooms okay so those rooms should be under some uh, some hotel right they cannot be like uh, in independent in somewhere roadside right it will be always in, in one building okay so that is why this kind of relationship is established okay so let me just remove this thing okay let's say see there is a there is one lodge okay there is one lodge created and uh, in lodge it will be different different uh, records will be there lodges different lodges lodges will have di different records like one hayat lodge is there if you can if you want you can pu put one manjunath uh, lodge or whatever lodge you want but this lodge should have different rooms right so those rooms will have their own properties like it will have a, a room number will be there how many beds are there uh, how many people it can accommodate what all like tv fridge whatever things are there so it will have its own uh, properties right so let's say in these rooms will be different different records okay so under hayat lodge there are these many rooms okay and the relationship field so this is the uh, so hayat lodge is the parent record okay or the lodge lodge is the parent object okay and the room room is the child object okay room is the child object so i raised it okay shoot
so the relationship field lookup or master detail whatever it is the relationship field will always be in the child object okay but the related list now another concept is related list i'll show you here normal uh it will not go i'll have to erase it only okay uh i'll have to erase it okay okay fine so see every uh let's show you here okay let's change the uh application okay let's go to uh, sales application okay and if we go to opportunity object okay if you go to opportunity object if you open any of the opportunity object so the section from here to here okay from the sections from here to here it's showing the detail of this particular object opportunity object okay but what is below this is the relation these are the related list okay these are the related list so what this related related list shows is it shows the relationship between this opportunity object and other objects so products is another object okay open activities activity history notes and attachment contact partners competitors all these things are different different objects okay so these are the related list okay so if we go to account let's say if you go to account okay if you open any account okay so the detail this is the detail about the account okay but every account may or may not have relationship with other contacts okay and that account can have opportunity also because okay let me show you if you open opportunity field if you open opportunity object okay 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 one second one second hmm see if you see here this dell opportunity it belongs to the account dell electronics whatever it is okay so in this opportunity the account is dell electronics so that means there is a relationship between opportunity and account okay this relationship is automatically done from out of the box functionality so this is already established by salesforce that means it's a standard relationship okay so account opportunities leads contacts these things are already related and they are under the sales application okay so if you want to establish any custom relationship between different different objects okay that you will have to do on your own okay so that is why relationship fields are provided so that you can establish relationships so i'll show you one thing that will make you more clear one second so there is something called schema builder okay in the schema builder it will be like it will show you like templates okay it will show you like templates uh, like how relationship is established okay if you go to account an opportunity lead contact okay see in account you have in opportunity you have an account name okay so that means that this opportunity is connected to account okay and what kind of relationship it is it's a lookup relationship you see one lookup field is there okay and in also contact also there is one lookup relationship which is for account 
okay see uh, how to put it across is uh, let's say there is one sales representative okay so that sales representative will belong to any company let's say ibm is wanting to buy something very big so it will ibm company will directly not go to any uh, shop or any big company to buy something right it will send its representative okay so that representative is the contact okay but that what what company that contact represents it's ibm so that i account is ibm okay and when that whole uh, discussion and whole uh, query about any product is recorded that is recorded in opportunity okay and depending on the interaction with that particular contact like do you want to go ahead or purchase something the quotation negotiation all those things are done in the different different stages of opportunity okay so that is why there is a relationship between these three things okay so that contact need to be under some company right so that that is why the company's name is there in the account name okay and the opportunity also will not be like uh, somewhere in in the space right it will also have one account connected to it so that account will be ibm okay so that is why there is one relationship okay you getting the point yeah yeah uh see there is something called crm flow okay crm flow is what is the flow between these different different objects in a customer relationship management okay and that is called crm flow so the first thing which starts is the marketing okay so first thing which starts is the marketing first company will um, try to make some campaign and do marketing so for that sorry yeah to generate lead so for that they will create campaign okay let's say we want to create one new campaign okay i'll show you step by step let's say we create one this one i've already shown na so you see see first client i uh, showed right so in campaign you have campaign name and you have start date end date okay start date end date is there so if the end date is already reached then this campaign that means it's over okay so that means that you cannot attach it within any lead okay so in lead if you go if you create one new lead okay here you have something called campaign this is a field and what kind of field it is it's a relationship field if you see this magnifying glass that means it's a relationship field and it's a look up relationship you see campaign look up campaign yeah so if you click on this you will see only the open campaigns where it go hmm. so these are the campaigns which are open okay and you can associate this particular lead with this campaign that means that this lead was generated from this campaign okay so in the front end it will show you the name but in the back end what is there my first campaigns id is there okay so when we get into the coding part we will try to do sockwell query we will get the id we will not get this name okay then you'll understand clearly but anyways so to understand in the actual thing it's the id but in the front end it's showing that my first campaign is there you can if you click on this okay i think because i opened the next one it ah, okay so my first campaign is yeah, sorry okay so my first campaign is there okay but in the back end it's saving the id here so if you save it that means this new lead whatever new lead we are creating it will be connected to this campaign okay so 
So like that. Hmm. Where is that schema will okay? Hmm. Yes. Oh, I did not even show you that. Okay, fine. So let's try to create one lead. Okay. Let's say we'll name it Shri. Last name will be Kant. Okay. Let's say, and you belong to one company. Uh, let's say TCS. Okay. Title something we'll leave and my first campaign only. Okay. So date and time, today's date, whatever it is. So we'll leave it all blank and we will save it. So this was the first step lead was captured in the database. Okay. Now if the sales representative opens this lead, he will go to the mobile number. Let's say we have one, one, two, three, four mobile number. He will go to the mobile number. He'll try to contact either via phone or fax or email. Okay. And then once the lead says that, yeah, okay, fine. I'm interested. Then they will convert it. Okay. So once you convert it, so okay so once lead is there okay if you convert the lead okay it will be converted into a contact and one account okay and opportunity will also be generated but opportunity is optional okay so this will come when you convert the lead okay three options you will get contact opportunity and account so account and contact will be there but opportunity is optional this is or okay so as the lead will have some information which is which will belong to contact and the contact will also have something in relation to account so that is why there are few fields which is common and even in opportunity there are few fields which is common so when you click on this convert button automatically salesforce will copy those fields and copy it into and paste it into fields of contact account or opportunity automatically okay let's uh, put some fields which it can copy uh, let's say company is there uh, tcs uh, this is fine uh, address we'll put something street 17th cross city bangalore the state karnataka uh, something something okay we'll click okay okay now you save it and you convert it okay so once you convert it see it's asking you to convert the lead okay so once you convert it you see account name is there opportunity is there and you also have an option to choose do you want to create an opportunity or not okay so opportunity is optional okay so if you check this box it will not create the new opportunity upon conversion okay and once you convert the lead will be it will be deleted Okay, so the lead will be deleted. Now it's no more lead. It has uh, what you call it has uh, advanced to convert uh, as contact. Okay, and it will also create one account. If you want, you can create uh, or connect it to an existing account also. If you want, you can create a new account also. Okay, and there will be one task also created. Task is created uh, in order to assign it to some sales representative. Let's say if he has to do some follow up or something, then in that case, task is assigned. And if he, if that particular representative goes to his home page, he will see that task. So as soon as he logs in, if he goes to his home page, he will see my tasks here. And in that my task, it will come as this particular uh, opportunity or contact was created. Please do a follow up, something like that okay so like that so let's say if we go and put one subject here test something uh, some date will put and status okay in progress uh, whatever you want you can uh, put 
and you can click convert and you see here send email to owner is also there so whoever is the owner of that contact an email will also be sent automatically you will not have to do anything okay so now you see you are no more in the in the lead prevented from pop-up pop-up why is it blocking hello pop-up okay see one task is assigned okay as there is only one user in this org this is a test org right so it it uh, does not allow you to generate lots of users okay there is a limit so all those limitations we'll see later so let's say we will dismiss it as of now okay and now this is this is one account is created okay and if you go to the lead you will not be able to find that particular lead that we just created okay so that lead is deleted okay and that is converted into the contact that we created and one where did it go and one contact will also be created one second this is the account right so here one contact will be created you see here one contact is created okay and the account name is tcs okay and if we go to opportunity Let's get out of setup. We'll go back to home page, close schema builder. And if you go to opportunity, one opportunity will also be created. You see TCS opportunity is created. Okay. So this is called CRM flow. This is the first step was lead. So from lead, if you convert the lead, you will get account contact and opportunity. Okay. Now account is there in the record contact is there in the record, but the main uh, interaction that happens is through the opportunity. Okay, so now step by step this opportunity will increase the probability will increase. Now it is just under a prospecting stage. <sighs> yeah, it depends it entirely depends on the follow up that agents will have to follow up Salesforce will not or do these things. Yeah, those guys will be updating those things. Okay, so these things are data, actual data. We will not be dealing with this data. They might ask us to create one rule to assign it automatically to some particular region, or they might ask us to create some validation rule so that uh, some these whatever data is entered is validated or trigger will be created. These things we'll learn later, but those kind of customizations will be done by us. This is just to make you understand. Okay. So right now they they will open the they will see in their task that this opportunity is created. They'll go open the opportunity and they'll try to do the follow up. So to do the follow up, they cannot do that directly from the uh, opportunity, right? They need the contact. So that is why the contact will always be there in the related list. Okay, account and contact will be there. So you see here contact history is there, contact role is there, account is also there. From here, if they click, they will be able to do the follow up okay and depending on the interaction they will change the stage so let's say uh, this the first step was prospecting so after prospecting it qualified to uh, qualification okay or they will like interaction with the managers and they will say that this is what's going on they'll send quotes and all those things like proposal perception these things are mostly dealt by the sales representative how they use it so in the end if everything goes up if they are ready to close the deal they will change it into close one and the probability is 100 percent click ok save that means this opportunity or this uh, product they have already sold okay so this is closed now yes the yeah now the shipment will be done okay after this once uh, everything is done payment is done now they will go ahead and ship okay now after the shipment of the product and let's say the user starts using it then they will have some kind of issues so in order to deal with those issues salesforce provides this service cloud so here you have cases solutions all those things are here so that you can interact with the customers Okay, so that is what the CRM flow is. Okay, so does that like answers your question clear your doubt? Okay. 
so once opportunity is done so it will let's say it becomes closed one okay after this you uh, start the service cloud from here calls tickets all those things will come into picture okay so this is the basic use of salesforce actually okay okay so yeah so this you have to keep in mind that this is the related list okay this is just the detail this is the detail page this is the part of the detail where you enter the data okay but what relationship it has okay the relationship will always be in the related list it will show that these are the things that it is related to you see cases is also a related list under this account so if this particular contact calls or any user under this account calls and says that i have issues so they will create case under this account okay showing that this particular case belongs to this account okay so from here let's say or maybe the user calls back and says i want to buy something more so that will be new opportunity and the new opportunity will be under this account okay okay so what i wanted you to understand is that the relationship field okay the field will always be there in the child record okay or the child object but the related list will always be there in the parent object so that means account is a parent and contact opportunity these things are child okay so here there is a relationship one to many relationship so using lookup relationship field this is a lookup field okay so using the lookup field they have created one uh, relationship okay so this is the pair yeah no yeah. no this this relationship was already established this is established uh, since the beginning salesforce will give you this functionality no in this no in this is out of box functionality of the salesforce okay so contact opportunity see for custom objects yes we have to create but these are standard objects right okay so these are standard objects so in standard objects whatever relationship is there it's already been established okay so in custom objects if we want any relationship then we have to create it by clicking by clicking yeah yeah sure i we will yeah we'll get to there okay so first you understand that the relationship field will always be there in the child record okay so let's say this is a parent account is the parent and contact is the child so if you go to the child in the child only you will have the relationship field so here you will have a relationship field with the account so here you will have something called account name so this is a lookup relationship field okay and the related list will always be there in the parent record okay okay so this is a normal uh, default relationship okay so if we want to establish a new relationship on our any of the custom objects so we can easily do that using the relationship field let me go ahead and show you okay uh, you have any uh, uh, oh you can't give me control uh, okay 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 let's go to our education app quickly student is there class teacher pu colleges okay let's quickly create one uh, here do we have any relationship with student okay so this student does not have any relationship because it does not have any related list right so so in the class teacher do we have any student ah okay it's it's already related so this is already related so university there's no record so how will you know okay fine 
so pu colleges was something that we created i think it was in the previous class we only did right yeah so if let's say pu college uh, is the child and it this college will belong under university right in, it will be always be under some some kind of university right so here if you want to establish one parent child relationship between pu college and university so university will definitely be a parent and pu college will be child okay so the relationship field as i said relationship field will always be there in the child record okay so if you go to university and you try to create one relationship field here you will if you create one pu college then it will become reverse okay it will become university will become child and pu college will become parent so that is why you have to be careful okay so if you want to make pu college as a child and university as a parent you go to pu college and here you create one new field so we go to view fields or we click on new field and here we click one you see lookup relationship also you can create one master detail also you can create so master detail is a little complicated so as of now we'll click on lookup relationship okay and we will click next so the next step it will tell you that which object do you want to relate this object to so right now we are in the pu college yeah so you want to relate it to which object so related to which object so we can choose university from here okay you can choose the university from here select the other object to which this object is related okay and then we click next so enter the label and the name of the lookup field so it will be one field that field will come somewhere in the in the uh, this record okay so somewhere here it will come okay by default it will be coming uh, coming under the uh, first section only so somewhere so it's a field it's a general field only just like name date all those things it's a field only okay and what information that field will have that field will have the name of the parent okay so let's say we have field name as university okay uh, belongs to uh, to this university okay uh, help text enter university name okay child relationship name so this is something uh, related to api so if you are coding if you want to fetch the related list then you have to fetch using this relationship field okay so as of now it's not much important to you so you can just uh, remember that this is the child and university is the parent okay and the field will show the university it will show university okay like this label pu college name is there na so instead of this here it will have whatever label you put okay and this is the actual name if you want to code if you want to fetch this using code you have to put this name okay appended by underscore underscore c by default automatically salesforce will put that underscore underscore c because this is custom because we are creating it's custom okay okay so as it's a normal field it's asking do you want to make it a required field or not okay and uh, we will click next okay and in lookup relationship field it's not mandatory that you put a value okay so that particular pu college can have a university cannot have a university if it's a lookup relationship okay so that means that relationship is not uh, it's not mandatory to put a parent you can put you can also leave it okay if it's a lookup relationship okay so we'll get into more detail once we enter master detail okay because there are few differences lots of differences between lookup and master so as of now you keep it simple that it's not necessary in a lookup relationship to enter the parent name okay so you just save
okay so now if you go to pu college here you have custom relationships and field you have one relationship field called university api name is underscore underscore c what data type it is it's data type look up look up to which object university object okay so now if you go to this don bosco you just refresh it it will have another field and that field will not have any value yes so if you want to establish a relationship between this pu college and any university you can put it or you can leave it blank that depends on your company's requirement okay so wherever you see this magnifying glass that means it's a lookup relationship okay you click on this and you will get the parent records okay so this is a child record so you know the field will always be under child record okay so you can put one university here do we have any university created uh, doubt okay so that's why there's nothing here okay fine we'll create one university address let's say we put uh, belgaon okay location latitude longitude not required landline we'll put some 1 2 3 4 email uh university name we'll put first this is let's say vtu okay vtu dot uh at edu dot in something okay now let's say we save it and we click save and new so as i clicked save and new it will give me another option to create another uh, record okay let's say we'll put telly language long it is not required uh, let's say some number email we'll put uh, let's say du du at uh, government dot in something this will put delhi university okay we'll click save you see one one id is created okay so this is the id for this university if you put take this id and wherever you want you just paste it just in front of your basic url you paste it automatically it will jump to that particular record see delhi university came right and one thing you notice under delhi university you have colleges and you have pu colleges that means university is the parent and colleges and pu colleges is the child objects okay getting the point so the field will not be there in the parent the field will be there in the child but the related list will be there in the parent okay so let's get get back here so now you have universities created so if you go to the pu colleges here and okay let me show you one more thing so if you create one pu college here that will be automatically related to this university okay but it's not necessary so if you see let's see if you click on this new pu college okay automatically that value is filled here but it is not read only you can still change it okay but if you leave it as it is it's a pu college uh, uh, let's say we put uh, you have any name do you college uh, uh, this one college name here what is it whatever let's say one rv let's say put rv okay and we put save so you see university parent uh, parent record is delhi university and if you go to delhi university it will show you a related list and the related list will have rv okay and let's say if you want to create one new pu college if you change this you can also change it you can change it to uh, let's say vtu in vtu you have uh, paste it okay you have paste it now if you save it it will not come under du it will automatically go to pu uh, if you go to universities if you go to delhi university you will see only rv you will not see that Hey, where did I go? You go to university. You go to Delhi University. Hey, sorry. VTU, na? 
go to VTU, here you will see that. Okay, yes, it is created. Okay, so what I the point I wanted to uh, to make here is that university field this is not mandatory. Lookup relationship is not mandatory. You can put it. You can also leave it. Okay, so right now we have one relationship created between university and PU college. Now, if you go to the setup, and if you go to schema builder, let's say we go to schema builder. If you go to schema builder here, we'll uncheck this account, uncheck everything, we uncheck lead opportunity, we uncheck everything. And we try to find one university. Okay, and we find uh, what was that? PU, PU college. Okay. Elements, to layout view options, show relationships. Okay, now you see there's a relationship already created between university and PU college. Okay, so that means that these two objects are connected. Okay. Okay. And this thing is very important. Hello, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. This is this was just for demonstration. I just wanted to show you that there's a relationship created. Okay, but you can also use schema builder to create anything. Okay, let's see if you want to create one more field here. Okay, to choose the objects, you choose here from uh, from this from this tab. You choose the object, what object you want to create, or whatever you want to use. Select all, clear all, anything. Okay, but if you want to create one field. Let's say if you want to create one uh, checkbox. Okay, let's say if you want to create one uh, currency for fees. Okay, you can just drag it and you can drop it. You see these two turning green. That means you can drop it either of them in, in either of them. So if you drop it here, it's asking you to put the field name. Let's say we put the uh, fees field name. Uh, description not required length it's asking for a length we'll put uh, let's say 16 we'll put some decimal value 2 uh, default value nothing no required field you save it so same thing that you are doing from there here also you can do now if you want to edit it you can just if you want to customize this you can customize this from here also you can go to page layout and you can like rearrange things okay getting the point okay but mostly schema builder we don't use because uh, when you have other options to do that we mostly prefer this is just for pictorial uh, pictorial representation okay so to have some clear picture let's say if you have lots of cust uh, uh, what you call complicated relationships to have that clear picture like which one is related to which one if you want to have that picture then you can use schema builder okay so let's say we'll clear all okay we go to account campaign we'll choose let's say case uh, contact then uh, opportunity product okay and this much is enough so if you click on these If you see, it's showing you the relationship. Okay, so if you want to create one custom object under this, you want you don't know whether you want to create under this or this, which which one you want, like parent, which is the parent, which is the child. So that kind of relationship, if you want, you can go ahead and use schema builder. Okay, so this is just to like have a picture. Okay, so we will close schema builder. 
okay so now we have established one uh, relationship between university and pu college so what are the objects that is created in your org Okay. Okay. So what I want you to do is you create one relationship. Okay, one relationship between yeah. Okay. Hmm. Ah, huh, okay. okay so what you do is make the parent as university under that you put some colleges under that you put some classes okay so one relationship you have to build two relationships one between university and college and one between college and class okay just make sure that you keep this in mind that which one should be parent and which one should be child okay and the main point is that always create a field in the child object okay so yeah you try to create lookup relationship okay so you do this tomorrow and uh, let me uh, know if you have any doubts or any questions okay so try to create some more objects okay let's say create some hotel or uh, uh, rooms or lodges restaurants things like that under hotel industry okay we create another app hotel industry in that you create some objects like hotels rooms uh, lodges and um, restaurants bars those kind of things you create and you establish relationship between them okay create some maybe five six fields create different different sections between them okay from using page layout okay getting that so these two things you do yeah one you uh, change the education app one you uh, create another application called hotel in hotel industry okay and you create a relationship so this is only a lookup okay tomorrow we'll see master detail okay it's a compl a little complicated so that's why i want you to have a clear idea of lookup so uh, do these two examples you will get the idea okay okay so let's wind up here okay so just uh, uh, do these two things and uh, tomorrow we'll catch up okay and um, yeah that's it if you have any questions you can ask yeah sure 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 okay 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 then yeah bye see you tomorrow